So I have a question for you. Yeah. The thing is, when I got a drone, I asked them, should I take a license? Should I take a certificate or not? So even the smallest, tiniest drone, should I take a certificate or not? Yes. Now, obviously, the toy drones, the small ones, they don't be, uh, they are not considered as UAS. But for all the drones that have camera on them and that can fly of any weight category, they have to be registered with DCA as well as GCA. I never knew that there is so much of rules and regulations till I bought this DJ Spark. It's a small little aircraft uh, with a small tiny camera in the front with a gimbal to stabilize your footage. And I, I, I moreover saw this like a toy because I was about to go for a trek so I thought I need some drone shots to, to capture, you know, crazy trekker. So I bought this, then I want to try out in Dubai, so I switched on and it wouldn't fly because there's something on your uh, screen popping up saying no fly zone. So I called up my friend and he said, bro, you need a drone license. So drone license, how do I get it? So I went and checked, um, there's so much of rules and regulations to fly the small tiny drone uh, in Dubai especially. It was kind of complicated for me at the start but later I figured out it was a simple process. You, you have to do two things to fly a drone in Dubai. One, register with DCA, Dubai Civil Aviation Authority and also GCA, that is a General Civil Aviation Authority. Now, General Civil Aviation Authority, uh, you can do it online, uh, you get your approval, and you have to download My Hub, uh, I think it's My Hub app. You have to download an app and then fly, but not in Dubai. In Dubai, you have to uh, get a DCA approval. Well, for getting a DCA approval, all you have to do is you go for a course, and that's what I did, I'm gonna show you in this video. You finish your course, get your certificate, apply for your license and you get your license. With the license, you can fly this beautiful drone in Dubai without any problem. Okay. Guys, finally I reached the place called Exponent Technology Services in Al Maktoum Airport, I mean close to Al Maktoum Airport. And I'm here to get the drone certificate. So let's see how the class goes on and what is the process and how to get these things done. Now arm the motors. And take off. Take off. Uh, hi, Freddie. I'm Jamal. I'm the manager of training in Exponent Technology Services. So welcome, and it was very nice having you here. Finally, you have completed your training and you're just uh, certified yourself as yes. a pilot. Since Freddie has become a certified pilot, so can you. And the only thing you have to do is to come to Exponent Technology Services. And what we do here is we teach you about the drones from the start. Our gram school consists of all the information that you need regarding the drones. The basics of the drones, how the drones came into being, the rules and regulations, the authorities who are responsible for regulating the rules and regulations of the companies, and the applications that you do using drones. And then we teach you about the physics behind the drones. We all see that drones are flying all around us, but how do they take off? How do they move around? We don't know about them, so we teach them our trainees that how the drones are moving around so that you have better understanding of your drone. Then we teach you about the components of the drone, how the drones are made of and what are the major components of the drone and what is the individual functionality and how they all come together to make this wonderful vessel fly and get you the benefits for it. Let's take it forward and then we have another test that we have a simple 30 multiple choice questions test to make sure that you understood what you have been taught. And then we have a small session of flight assessment in which we make sure that you know how to fly a drone, we teach you how to fly a drone and if you already know how to fly a drone then we test you. We ask you to do certain maneuvers and that's how we come to know that you have, you know, you have been certified as a pilot. Once you pass our levels of safety and training then we issue you a certificate that certifies you that you are a drone pilot. Then we have different varieties of drones that you see in our office and some of them I have here laid out for you. Let's have a look at them. So here we have some of the few drones and the varieties of them. If you can see how the drones are coming along. So you can start from here. This is a very small toy drone just for racing and other purposes. Then this is a DJI Tello and this is the bigger drone DJI Spark and a little bigger drone than that DJI Mavic. 
and this is another drone that's a custom built drone that's a frame wheel f450 and then this is a dji phantom 4 a little bit customized and then this is s900 a big oh, drone this is huge so yes. what is this used for you can carry multiple payloads and but we use this drone to carry burgers oh, okay. we delivered burgers at salt at kite beach around 900 burgers a day and it was a fun event i tell you <laughs> That's nice, so it can carry burgers. Guys, yes. you can and carry burgers. One. Okay, now we have a huge, huge one. This is so, super huge. Now this drone is called Matrice M600. It's a DJI drone and can carry a heavy payload of up to six kgs, or even if you have better batteries, maybe more than that. It has a three GPS redundancy antennas. Okay. But it has three GPS and it's a very big drone and it's a marvelous drone. Cool, and what is this used for? You can use it for multiple purposes. You can use it for aerial filming. You can okay. use it for surfing, napping, depending on what your requirement is. It can carry a payload of up to six kgs. So okay, up to cool. six kgs, whatever you want to put on this drone, you can do it. So you can set up a professional gimbal to it, and then Absolutely. a camera, and then yes, multiple gimbals, multiple cameras, depending on what you want okay. and what your shot requires. Cool, nice. Okay, then again, I think there are more things, more toys here. Let's yeah. go check out here. Yeah. Uh, I saw a plane here, okay, a tiny small plane, but this is This is another UAS, it's a fixed wing. It's a hybrid drone that flies using fuel as well as battery. It has a fuel tank as well as battery. It flies for a longer duration. You can use these for surveying and mapping when the duration is a very long period of time. And then? Okay. We have another drone on this side. This drone doesn't have wheels to take off. So we use a catapult to actually launch it into the air. Okay. So this goes all the way down from here, all the way down. You don't actually launch it here because you're not allowed yeah. to. So we bring it all the way down and when you launch it using this uh, mechanism, it goes up into the air and the motor behind it, it starts moving around and it starts taking off and it just takes off. Okay. And, and then for landing? Lands, it has to land on its belly. Oh. You have to call it flash landing but it just it lands on its belly and it stops. Okay guys, we have few more drones here <laughs> and he's going to explain that too. Okay, so this is multiple varieties of drones. This is a hexacopter, it has six motors. This was custom built for one of our clients. Yeah, I, I remember learning this in your yes. class. <laughs> so it was custom built for our clients and they had a specific requirement and we built this drone for them. Cool. Then we have another drone here. This is another fixed wing, but it is called VTOL. That's vertical takeoff and landing. And what it does is these motors here, they turn downwards, it okay. vertically takes off and then it flies like an aeroplane. It's like a jet. Yes. It takes off. Yeah. Drone here. Okay, what is this drone about? Now this drone is a delivery drone. If you want to deliver anything to anyone in future, the delivery drone will be the one that will okay, be Okay, so you are delivering your Mavic to me through this, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So this drone is used for delivering stuff, so wherever you want, in which the drone will go to that location, deliver the package to you and come back. And there are certain levels of safety there that I'm not sure I'm allowed to discuss on camera, but certain levels of safety have to be taken care of before we deliver stuff. Cool. But this is for delivery. This place is amazing. There's so many things. I just came for a small class, but there are so many things here. Uh, I bought a small Spark, DJ Spark, but the things what they have here is amazing. It's so, so huge. Okay, and I see some uh, some drones, which is half done and half finished. It's all crazy drones here. This is our workstation where we work with drones, depending on the customization of our clients. Usually, the drone solution that we sell they require lots of customization. For example, this is one of the drones that we have. It's an RFID reader solution in which it can go into the fields, read the information on the fields and send it directly to your server. Okay. And this one is a water drone. It can go into the water, land on water, collect water samples for you or whatever you want to collect from the sea and then bring it back to you. Okay, and cool. this is another drone that we have here. This is a cleaning drone. It's a camera cleaning drone. You see there are lots of people who have these huge cameras on huge poles oh that's but interesting then, yeah but, but then when after a certain period of time the dust gets accumulated on the you know shell of the okay. camera it's very difficult to clean it so what we have is we have two solutions in which one drone of the big drone goes up and it sprays water on it and it cleans it up but that is not enough why because there is still some smog left after the water droplets are left there so what we do this small drone goes up with the microfiber connected to it it goes up it wipes it out clean and lands. Oh, that's cool. That cleans the so, camera as well. So, 
when I bought uh, DJ Spark, I said, okay, I'm buying a DJ Spark and I'm just going to fly, take some cinematic shoots. But I never imagined that these drones are capable of doing so many other things, which is 10% of cinematic videos, <laughs> but 90% of amazing things. Yeah. Thank and you so much. your my god. These are all the drones that are in development and yeah. they are working on it. Wow. This this drone looks very This is an infrared camera drone. It has an infrared camera. Cool. And that's our cool. And guys I learned when I was learning, when he was teaching me, he told me drone is a masculine name. And <laughs> so this this drone looks very masculine and all the drones would be used is masculine, yeah. <laughs> and this is their work area. So much things happening here. Okay. There's another drone here. Yeah. Okay, and, and very interesting part of this drone. If you see this, there's a propeller on top and there's a propeller on down. And there are actually... It's an X8 drone. Yeah, X8. So that yes. there are eight propellers. And there's a Mavic drone here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And there's a cricket net here. I don't know for what this net is. <laughs> well, this is basically the area where the hobbyist people who come around and who want to fly their drone in the office. As you know, we can't trust everyone with their skills. Oh, this is cool. So guys, I hope you guys had fun while viewing this video, but this is a suggestion from me to all of you that all those guys who want to come into this drone industry and want to fly drones, make sure that you follow all the rules and regulations and make sure that you certify yourself as a drone pilot because these things might seem small, but they are very important and they make you go a long way. As a new drone operators, if you want to come and fly drones in Dubai, we suggest that you come to us, you train yourselves, and we certify you as a drone operator, and you can register yourself on DCA website. And for all the rules and regulations, whenever you're flying, be safe, and always make sure that you enjoy flying your drones. And to know more about our website, find the link below, and then just come to the website and see all the marvelous things that we do, and how you can register yourself for training, and come to us anytime you want. See you then. Cool. So guys, finally, I finished my certification course. I got 80% and I cleared the exam 70% course. But, but still, there are more registrations to do. I have to go to GC and DC and register my drones and get a license, which is something like this. I have here. Yeah, wait a it is something like this. I'm not going to show close. It's something like this you get. And then you can fly drones without any problems in Dubai, provided you take all the permissions from all the authorities.